fossil fuels which are formed by the remains of dead plants and animals under the sea uh, th that's what these alkanes are basically we extract that that crude oil from the ocean we extract that crude oil and it is alkanes that we get we get a mixture of alkanes of different of different uh, uh, number of carbon atoms and we use fractional distillation to separate these different alkanes because you can see uh, because of their properties because of the close packing and their number of electrons number of carbon atoms and everything each of the hydrocarbons will have different boiling points and because they will have different boiling points they can be easily separated by fractional distillation now uh, so so actually it's um, and these uh, alkanes are mostly used as fuels so diesel fuel and gasoline which is petrol they are all alkanes so uh, they are used as fuels now we know that there are two main problems related with this one is that fossil fuels are non renewable resources uh, because you can they will eventually run out and uh, the other thing is that which we are going to see right now is that the combustion of alkanes produces carbon dioxide now carbon dioxide you you know carbon dioxide is actually contributing to global warming and it's a very devastating effect we need to stop its emissions very soon and it can also lead to the emissions of carbon monoxide because there are two different types of combustions complete combustion and incomplete combustion so complete combustion gives us carbon dioxide in water incomplete combustion gives us uh, carbon monoxide in water so the problem with carbon monoxide is that it's very poisonous for our body so upon inhaling carbon monoxide we can actually die so it's very poisonous so it's in fact co2 is much less harm much less harmful compared to carbon monoxide so to tackle this problem of carbon monoxide what we do is we use a catalytic converter so let's just know what a catalytic converter is so catalytic ca catalytic converters are basically um, they are inserted in car exhausts so that they can they can they, they prevent carbon monoxide to escape from the exhaust gases so what happens is that uh, these ca uh, catalytic converters are made of platinum palladium and rhodium and these metals are in a honeycomb structure in the catalytic converters because the honeycomb structure uh, provides a very large surface area and this very large surface area uh, allows for uh, allows for efficient efficient removal of carbon monoxide and uh, and oxides of nitrogen from the exhaust gases so what the catalytic converter does is it oxidizes the carbon monoxide to co2 and it reduces uh, oxides of nitrogen which you which you saw in the in the nitrogen and sulfur chapter contributes to acid rain Con these contribute to acid rain so it reduces them to nitrogen to nitrogen now nitrogen and carbon dioxide are far less harmful than these gases so it's easier to emit these gas is it's safer to emit these gases compared to these gases so it's safer to emit carbon dioxide and in n2 and that's why so the reaction that takes place in the catalytic converter is actually in co plus no2 gives co2 plus n2 now let's balance this so we can put a 2 over here so, and we can also put a 2 over here will it get balanced um no it will not get balanced let's try a different method of balancing this actually it's easier for us to write the equation yeah so you should always ignore writing no2 write no instead it's it becomes much easier afterwards you just write 2 over here and 2 over here and then 2 over here so now this is balanced two carbons two carbons uh two in uh, two oxygens and then two oxygens here so four oxygens and you can see four oxygens because two into two is four two nitrogens two nitrogens so this is balanced so you can see that the catalytic converter it 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 makes this reaction happen and these gases are released from the from the exhausts afterwards so um we are done with this now and now there's another thing that happens in catalytic converters unburnt hydrocarbons which means that the hydrocarbons or the fuel which wasn't combusted they are oxidized to form they are oxidized or a better word to is uh, a better word uh, better word to use over here is combusted they are combusted to form co2 and h2o so they form co2 and h2o and um, 
again the problem is solved because these unburnt hydrocarbons can actually lead to the formation of black soot so uh, it can it's very damaging for the lungs and it's also